All right, now we're going to jump into uh, variable types. First of all, you have integer types, floats, strings, and booleans. We'll get into what these are. An integer is a whole number, so something like 1, 2, 5, 6,000. That's what an integer is, it's a whole number. A float is a decimal number, so something like this. Two point four or five hundred point one four seven or it could even be six thousand that that's a float if you have a decimal num if it's a decimal number it's a float a string is characters so you can have a, you can have as many characters as you want and they can be a capital or middle or lowercase if you want them to be. So I can have this is text. And that'd be counted as a string. Or that. A boolean is very simple actually. It's just true or false. False. That's all a boolean is. It's nothing else besides true or false. Alright. So we'll get into a boolean at the moment since it's fairly simple if boolean equals equals to true now I probably didn't explain this in the last tutorial but you can name variables whatever you want so in the last tutorial I was calling all of these local equals that right? but you don't have to you don't have to call it local just know that this on its own is a local variable so if you want to call it float or you can call it I don't know France if you want so you can call it whatever you want. So yeah, if boolean is equal equal to true. Then do something. End. So if it's an if statement, then you have to put an end after when you're finished with it. So if boolean is equal equal to true, do something. Now you might be looking at equals equals and going, "What the hell is this?" Well, if I was to put equals here, it would actually assign true to the boolean. And that's not what we want. We want to check if it's true. So you have to have equals equals. So if boolean equals equals to true, so it is equal to true right here, do something. So we'll just do something very simple here. We'll have, I don't know, just a random local variable. Local equals 98. Measure box underscore p local. Alright, so it is, if this is equal to true, then we'll print out 98 here. Just get rid of all these. Alright. So it's equal to true right now. What's it going to do? Print out 98. Great. So now we'll assign this to false. As you see, nothing happened. That's what an if statement will do. So since this is false now and it's not equal to true, don't bother with this. Don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about this. It's all good. Now I'll get into the difference between integers and floats. Just got to remove that. Anyway, so we'll make an integer and we'll call it 3. Well, not really. We'll assign it to 3. And then we'll make a float. Assign that to 3.0. Now, we want to do this. We're going to make uh, message box underscore p. And we're going to do integer divided by th Let's do eight. We'll do eight, and then we'll do message box yep, underscore p float divided by eight, and we'll notice what the differences are. So right now, three divided by eight is zero point three seven five, which is what we want to get out of dividing here. But if we divide integer by eight. Since it's a whole number, it will convert the remaining value to an integer, which is a whole number. And so, since it's 0 0.375, it will actually end up as 0. But, since this is a float here, and it's a decimal number, you can actually get this value from it. And that's the difference between floats and integers. One of the main ones, anyway. We'll just print it up. See? The integer returns 0 the float 0 0.375 and these are important to remember because 
sometimes you will have to uh, use different use integers and floats to get your desired goal and you will need to know the difference between them so keep these in mind and that's pretty much variable types and booleans and if statements in a nutshell